Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. Today, let's talk about extending your reach. How and what is the best way to put a ER cylindrical extension into a regular ER tool holder to get that reach that you might need? As we have found in most shops, you don't always have the tool holder you need to get the reach you want for a particular application. So your best option is to take an ER extension, put it into an ER tool holder to get the length you might want. So let's go through the process and look for a few things that can improve your setups and keep you from having any problems once you get that tool assembled. The first thing we want to do is start off with our base tool holder. So in this case, it's a Cat 40 tool holder. And we have our 3 quarter inch collex. We're going to hold a 3 quarter inch straight shank extension. Let's go ahead and put our assembly together. And what we're going to look for here when we take our tool holder and we put it into our collet is to make sure we have enough engagement. Now, we've talked about in the past that we want to have a minimum of two thirds of the bore length. Well, this is an ER32, so the bore goes all the way through. So you want at least two thirds of the length of the collet. In this application, I want to go all the way through the collet. I want the back of my extension to be visible behind the edge of my collet. Why is that? Well, I'm doing my work out here, so I want as much rigidity down here. The more I have in the collet, the more rigidity I have at the cutting end. So we want our cutting tool nice and rigid. So let's make sure that our extension is at least flush or just a little bit past the back of the collet. Now I can take this assembly and I'm holding it together and I can put it into my collet. And I'm gonna thread the collet down until it grabs on its own, which is about right there. Now I don't have to do anything else at that point. So I can set that aside. Now, let's go ahead and assemble our ER16, our, in this case, blank tool that we're gonna use for the demo, and our nut, and put it all together using our Torco block. Let's take our ER16 collet, and let's go ahead and snap it into our ER16 MX nut, and let's go ahead and put that into our tool holder. And then we're going to put our cutting tool, or in this case, our blank in. Take our blank, slide it in. Now we aren't going for any particular length on this. This is more of an example for how to assemble. Now, our base assembly is, is together. So let's show the proper way to tighten this now using our Torco block. We are now at our Torco block. So let's go ahead and put our Cat 40 tool holder in it. And with this assembly, we have two different ER series being used. We have ER32 and ER16. Well, let's obviously start with the bottom. Let's tighten the base holder up first, and then we'll move on to our extension. With using the Torco block, I'm able to apply the different rings that we use for torque. I have an ER32 ring. I'm going to put that onto my Torco block. And in this case, my needle is already pointed exactly where I need it, which is right at 100 foot-pounds. Now I'm just gonna use a basic extension, extension wrench that is, and I'm gonna tighten this up all the way. Now I can move on to my ER16, which is my output for my extension in this case. So I can remove my ER32 ring. I can move on to my ER16 ring. I put that on. I have a quarter inch pin in the end. So I move my needle over where it goes. And in this case, I'm just gonna use a basic MX hand wrench to tighten this. And I'm all done. This tool is ready to be put into service. Of course, once I put a pull stud on it, but it'd be ready to go into service as is in this case, if it had a cutting tool. I know this is really basic information, but it's something everybody needs to look at and make sure they are assembling their extensions properly when they're trying to get the reach they need.